Joining us now is son to the late icon, Abdul Mumuni Abiola. He joins us via Skype. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, let's start with your general emotion as Nigerians commemorate this epic day. Uh, first of all, uh, happy democracy day. It's important that we things that happened in the past and give us like some kind of bearing to what we're going in the future. Uh, I believe that the country as a whole we're on the right track. Uh, it took us a while to get you know to get on the right track, but we're on the right track. It's gonna take us a while it's gonna take us a while to figure out exactly where we're going. But the most important thing is that we start that journey together. So to my fellow brothers and sisters in this country, I wish you a happy democracy day. And I'm just so excited at the possibilities. The conversations that are being had today are a little bit more substantial. They're a little bit more, you know, they have more context, more um, substance to the conversations. This is important for a nation that is young, that is still growing, and has a lot of potential. So I just congratulate all our people. And I just hope that our leaders will start to listen to the voices of our people. All right, uh, let's take a look at the thoughts expressed by the president on this day. He sought to brought, uh, bring to Nigerians the efforts of his administration to continue to entrench democracy and grow the economy. He talked about the situation with women, uh, talk, starting from their welfare to the increasing number of rape. He also talked about the economy. Um, being in the position that we are now. If you look at all that is happening in this country at this unique time, would you say that the spirit of democracy um, as promoted by your father um, so many years ago is being upheld by the leaders of today? Well, first of all, like I would say one thing, that democracy is not a one pill, so it's, all. it's a fluid and and constantly changing events. So the most important thing is that with democracy, it's just inclusion. So people grow, people, um, you know, people become a little bit more mature, and then they start to make different decisions. So the most important thing for me is that yes, it's taken us so long to actually really start to, you know, understand this, the reasons my father made the decisions he made. But that's not the issue. The issue here is. It's a progression. So what I am more concerned with is the issue of where do we go from here? Now we're 2020. We have another election in 2023. What is the agenda? What exactly are we telling the people that we we're from? What are we promising our people? So I think it's, you know, sometimes people might want to put the cart before the horse. There's no, this is not the time for this. Especially now, 2020, with the COVID-19 um, pandemic, it's important that we stop pointing fingers at each other and join hands to lift the country to greater heights. So I'm, I am more concerned with the next 10 years rather than what happened in the past. But I, I understand the agitations. I really believe that the president, Muhammad Buhari, has a plan for the nation. And, and this plan is not something that just would you know that you would see today so you know sometimes when you have a plan it takes some time for it to actually come to um, fruition i right. believe that we need more progressive leaders to to join hands with the president in making nigeria the promised land that my father promised so yes right. I, I actually um, believe that we're on the right track all right due to time constraint i need to ask you this very important question uh, there's a lot of skepticism going on as to the unity of this country you on the other hand have lost two parents to uh, this country would you say that nigeria is worth dying for even as it is today wow well um please i didn't hear the question can you repeat that okay i'm um, i'm trying to um 
capture the mood in the country at the moment. There is a lot of skepticism as to us staying together as a united nation. And I'm asking you, for someone who has lost both parents to the fight to entrench democracy, do you think that Nigeria is what dying for, as is even today? <laughs> Well, first of all, my father was about the unity of Nigeria. That's number one. I believe Nigeria is worth dying for. Even after everything that has happened in my family, you know, I'm sure you must you must know that my father was paid the Supreme Sacrifice. My father, my mother was also killed during the struggle.